12th, the pastor is saying to us, Christianity and the resurrection. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 12. Now, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? Some time ago, a certain well-known priest publicly stated that he used to believe in the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, but he now had reasons to question whether or not Jesus truly rose from the dead. The fact of the matter is, he never believed in Jesus even though he claimed to be a Christian. It's impossible to be a Christian without believing absolutely in the resurrection of Jesus. There's no Christianity without the resurrection. Christianity only begins from the resurrection, not the cross. The death of Jesus didn't provide eternal life. It's the resurrection of Jesus Christ that ushered us into eternal life. The Apostle Paul explains it in Romans chapter 6, verse 4. He said, Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also shall walk in newness of life. To not believe in the resurrection is to deny the possibility and availability of eternal life. And if you don't have eternal life, you're not a Christian. A Christian is someone who has received eternal life. What is eternal life? It's a life and nature of God, the quality of the divine essence. For example, dogs aren't goats, chickens aren't archers. No matter the resemblance between them, they don't have the same life and they'll never produce or reproduce after the other. Dogs will never reproduce goats and vice versa. The Christian is literally born of God with the God life. It was the resurrection of Jesus Christ that made that possible. Hallelujah. More so, the Bible says Jesus was proven or declared to be God in human flesh according to the resurrection from the dead. Romans chapter 1 verse 4. Then the Spirit of God the Apostle Paul brought the doctrine to a climax in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 12 to 19. Study the entire reference. The 19th verse says, If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Thank God for the resurrection. It's what gave us life. Blessed be God. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, Thank you for the glorious resurrection of Christ that ushered in Christianity and brought us into eternal life. The indestructible, uninfectable, and impregnable life. I walk in the newness of life, conscious that I've been raised together with Christ and made to sit together with him in the place of victory authority and dominion forever in jesus name amen for further study please read galatians chapter 2 verse 20 romans chapter 6 verse 4 and first corinthians chapter 15 verses 12 to 20. for the one-year bible reading plan please read john chapter 6 verses 1 to 24 and first kings chapter 9. for the two-year bible reading plan please read first corinthians chapter 7 verses 25 to 40 and Proverbs chapter 8. Rhapsody of reality.